Hey everybody, it's J.M. Shearer again. Uh, welcome to observation time number three. Uh, sorry I didn't get this out sooner, but uh, last week was kind of a busy week for me. Uh, but I've got time to you know sit down in front of my webcam again, so I think I'm gonna you know do just that. Um, and this time it's going to be kind of pretty much a straight opinion piece. Uh, if you watched my show last uh, week, I uh, said I was going to do something about this whole Donald Sterling business. I know I'm a little late to the party on this one because a lot of the stuff I was have been seeing the last couple of weeks on the matter seems to have come and gone, but which I suppose is a good thing. But, uh, you know, like I was saying, you know, last week on my uh, Hustream show, it's one of those things where, you know, it's it's unfortunate that it's had to come to, you know, Donald Sterling pretty much losing control of the Clippers, but, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, sure, the guy's entitled to his opinions, just like the rest of us, uh, and also, just like the rest of us, not all opinions are, you know, fit for public consumption. Uh, the thing, though, is, though, that, uh, you know, Mr. Sterling is, you know, 80-something year, uh, years old, you know, kind of like my, you know, one grandmother. And the thing there is that, yeah, they're both smart people, but they're in their 80s, and... Unfortunately, they're at a point in their lives where there's just nothing that any of us can say or do that will help them understand modern technology. Now, the thing is, we live in a day and age where, you know, uh, damn near everybody has a cell phone and pretty much any 13-year-old who wants to can, uh, you know, record phone calls on there and, you know, post them to the internet, so, uh, you know, and I suppose if, you know, if I live that long, I won't understand how the technology in whatever form works then myself. I mean, hell, you know, because like I was saying on Ustream on, you know, last Tuesday, uh, you know, I barely have enough grasp of the technology now to do what I'm doing with it. So, um, yeah, it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, Mr. Sterling's probably going to lose control and ownership of the Clippers. But the guy's got, like, well, he's certainly a millionaire, if not a billionaire, and he's, you know, getting up there in years. So while it's unfortunate that, yeah, he's going to have to quit and lose his team and all of that, uh, well, he's just at a point where he should just, you know, probably just, you know, have the good graces to, you know, just say, screw it, you know, sell the team, get out of the business, and, you know, just spend however much time he's got left enjoying his money. Because, let's face it, the guy's got more money than I and everyone I know could ever possibly use. So, um, anyway, that's, uh, you know, kind of my take on the whole Donald Sterling thing. Uh, you know, hopefully I'll have, uh, you know, more, you know, or somewhat better topic to talk about uh, next one of these I do. Hopefully that will be next week. Um, I'll, you know, see you then, folks. Uh, have a good day.